got a project that I bought two bowls from Dollar Tree. And my idea is to paint them. And I'm going to paint it white. This is going to be your base. And then I'm going to glue them together like so. And then, because I was trying to find a wick, couldn't find a wick nowhere. All right, so I went and bought a cheap candle at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take that wick and use it in here. And at the same time, I'm going to melt some of this wax. I'm going to melt this one. Because this one's got a nice lemony smell. It smells gorgeous. So if I put this in here, it might really give off a good aroma because it's more into an open bowl instead of a jar. So we're going to try this out. Hopefully it works out the way I want it to. Never done this before. But we're going to we're going to try and do this. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so my first thing is that I guess I'm going to paint it first because and then I'm going to let it dry. And then once it dries, I will glue them together. I do have my clear glue from Gorilla Glue that I used before. I'm going to use this. I'm, I think this will work a lot better than most. So I'm going to use my glue here. Hopefully that will work. But what I'm going to do, I want to paint this base first. And then I will paint this one. Okay? So if we'll, we'll, we'll do a little bit here. And I got white paint here, so I got the white going on here. Oof. Maybe. This might not be a good idea. Get paint everywhere. And I gotta use this little brush because I, I think they work better. I really like them. Alright, so I'm gonna sh I shook this already. I opened it up and had air, so it gave me a lot of blue everywhere. So I'm just gonna pour it. I want to do the outside first, so maybe I should put out my brush. Let's try it this way first, see how well it works. I'm just gonna paint it. It might take a couple of coats, so I'm just gonna show you the first part of it show you basically you know how you do it um, you could use any color I guess but you don't want to use dark colors because you want the you want the candle to come through so if you get too dark then it's not going to come through so that's why you're using white and it will look good in my kitchen and my dining room I'm going to put this in the middle of my dining table because I don't really have anything if this works out, if it works out. So, anyways, you see how light it is? It's probably going to take a couple of coats. So, and to let it dry. I don't think I'll do the middle because I want to glue them together and I don't want the paint to interfere with the gluing. So, and I don't think it, you will see that part anyways. If you really wanted to, you could probably just paint the base part and just keep the other one clear if you wanted to and put the candle in if you really wanted to do that. But this is the way I saw it. I can't remember where I found this, but I found this idea and I thought it looked really cool. And it's a good way if you have a lot of candle wax laying around and stuff, you could um, use it up. So. The only thing was, I tried to get wick and I couldn't get any. I really, I went to a few stores and the only way I could do it is to order it online. And you had to order like 50 in a pack. I don't need that many. And it really wasn't that expensive. But it's just, and I would have had to wait for it and all that. So what I did, I just went to Dollar Tree, got me a cheap candle. And I'm going to melt this and I'm going to use the wick out of this candle. So hopefully it'll work the way I want it to. And I'll just put a couple coats on here. This stuff, it kind of dries pretty fast. Not bad. You could 
you do what you wanted. You know, be creative and do your own little thing. And I thought this would look really pretty in the middle of my table. Yeah. So I don't have anything during the year. I just have stuff for Christmas and stuff like that, holidays. Yeah. And I always like candles. So, and I don't use this candle much. And I think, I think this will give a more aroma from being in a bigger thing. I hope so. So, I might as well use it. And it's okay to have the streaks from the, the, the little um, paintbrush here. Because it kind of gives a character, you know. There we go. And see, when I put this on top... So you're just going to glue it anyway, so no one's going to see it, so you're going to put that on top like that. Yeah, I don't think you really see it. And I could paint around it if I want after I glue it. So, there you go. So, I want to make sure you guys are seeing this, okay? Alright, so I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to do the other one, and, um... After it dries, I will come back and show you. Okay, guys, so I've let it dry. I did put two coats on it with the brush. You could probably just do one, and it might be all right. You don't want it too dark, so because you want the candle to glisten through the glass. So now I'm going to put them together. This is going to be your base right here. And we're going to glue this together, and I'm going to let it dry. While I'm letting it dry... I'm going to put these in hot water and we're going to melt this out of the jars. Now remember I want to use this wick so I'm going to melt this one to get the wick out first and then I'll do the other one. So let's glue this together first. And um, yeah. So, and this you can use on glass and metal. It says it all. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get this out. I might have to play with it for a few minutes. Yeah. I think it's got gook in there. There we go. Let me move it. A little bit there from the thing. I can get it out. Just try to put it all the way around it best I can. Try to squeeze it, it's not easy because I have it open. And put, make sure there's a good amount on there. I think this will work better than using a hot glue gun. I mean, you can use it on the outside if you want, but. I really don't think it's going to stay like you want it to. I'm just going to do this sun, and then what I'm going to do is just put this on top. And we're just going to make sure it's even so it looks pretty. I'll have to put something heavy in there so it'll sit down. Here we go. So, uh, I need some heavy to put down in there. I don't think this will be heavy enough. Yeah, you want to put something heavy in there so it'll stay while it's drying. I have to put a little bit more in there. It might not be enough, so I'm going to try to do this one too.
trouble getting it out. Now it's coming out really good. So. Okay, let's just put them together. Hopefully that will work. Hold it down for a few minutes. All right, sets. I wish I had something heavy to put in there. Well, I got my purse here. Maybe I'll just stick it in there. That'll be heavy enough. I don't think I'll bother it. Yeah. Yeah. Might not stay. Here. <laughs> Use my purse. Yeah. You never know, right? Whatever. Find something heavy to put in there. And you're going to let it dry. We'll see how well it works to let it dry. So what we're going to do, I'm going to bring you over to the, the stove and we're going to boil some water and I'm going to put the candles in. When I get that all ready to go, then I'll come back. Okay guys, so I have it now in water It's and I put the jars in there. You don't want to fill it all the way up because you don't want the water inside the jars and you want them to be able to move around a little bit. That's as, so I got them on. I, there still has to do a boil and melt. So it's going to take a few minutes because it's a big container. So when I come back, I hopefully will be able to show you, um, you know, it melting. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. So I got the one jar done, as you can see over here. I put that jar right there. See it right there. So it's not even, it's a little hot, but not whole hot. There are some wax in there, so I'm going to take it and pour it in here. So you can see that. I don't know if you see that or not. Um, there. So I'm going to put this on top of here, and we're just going to let it all melt out. I did to get the wick, so I can use that wick. This was the new jar that I bought. So what I want to do is take the one that's in here and see if I can get this one out. It's still quite tough on the top, but it has melting. It is melting. So, but I have turned it off. I'm just going to put it all in here. And uh, see if I can get it out without burning myself. show you here. I was trying to get it all out. Ooh, yeah, just like so. And it probably will come out. Um, yeah, so if you got old candles, you can do this. All right, it's hot, so I'm going to take this down. Yeah, so it's cooling off. I'm going to let this cool off inside there so I don't have any problems. And once it does that, then we're going to take this little container here. This was Shea Bear is making. I did not want to use my pot pot. So um, he made this a while back on his channel. So go check it out. It was for um, fires and stuff like that. So for us to camp with. So anyway, so give me a few minutes on this. And we'll come back and show you the me doing the, the other part. We'll be right back. Okay guys, so now I put it all in this container here and I'm just kind of, I put it on low. Um, it's already hot from the other one so it has melted, uh, you know, a little bit better. So I turned it on and put it on low. So I'm just trying to get it to melt. And while we're waiting for that, we put the bowl and got it over here. So, I can move this a little bit closer. Hopefully it won't move. And I used a couple of skewers. Um, there you go. So you can see it better. We used a couple of skewers here to, to hold the wick up. It is a little short, but that's okay because it ain't really going to matter. That's going to be waxed down there. So, it'll be fine. If you can find the longer ones, I would go with the longer ones, um, you know, to do this. And you want to 
want to put it in the center as best you can. So we used a little clip that he had. So that kind of helped. Shaver tick kind of mechanically did that for me. So now I'm just getting this wax, trying to get it all done here. Melting it. Oops, we don't want any of it dripping though. Not a good idea. Just let it melt. <coughs> Once it melts, you can pour it in there. There you go. Little pieces are melting better. Get those. There, it's breaking up a little bit better. This is the one that has the fragrance in it, so I can really smell it. <laughs> I smell it better out of out of it than when in the jar. So I'm hoping putting it in this bigger container is going to make make it um, smell more. I think those little containers sometimes just hold too much of the fragrance in, it blocks it. I don't know, we'll find out. Get this going. And when it gets ready to pour, we'll we'll come back. Okay guys, so we got it all melted and we're going to pour it in the container now. So I'm going to take it out the stove, it's still hot, and you want to slowly pour it in the side here. And I might need to do some more. What do you think? Probably? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to have to melt some more, which I have extra. Now that was two small jars that I did. So um, I do have the extra stuff here. So I'm going to melt some of this and we'll pour some more in and then we'll come back. Okay guys, so we got the rest of it melted and we're just going to pour it in here. And... See if we got enough here. <coughs> Might still need a little bit more. A little bit more yet. We'll be back. Okay, guys, so it took us a little bit. I put a bunch in here and we had break up. We did this about three times with this little container. Plus, I had the two glass jars that had the wax in, and I put them in there. So, it's quite a bit, more than you think. You don't want to go up too high. I have it about right here at the inch here, but you don't want to be up here because you, it, the wax would overflow, and you want to have a little bit of wick. You don't want the wick to be half like little tiny, so you want to have enough there. So, we're just going to let this cool and let it do its thing and when it's done probably be tomorrow um i'll come back and we will see the results so stay tuned it'll only take a sec for you all okay guys so today's it's the next day and it's all nice and hard as you can see i put it on the table it's all done so there we go. I'm going to light it up so you can see it. I can smell it. It smells really good. I think that helped it because it had a nice fra fragrance with it. So, And there we go. I'm going to turn off the light a little bit so you can kind of see it. It's dark. It is daylight, so you're not going to get completely darkness. But there we go. 
bring you up a little closer here so you can see a little bit better. There we go. It was easy and you can use, you know, candle wax that you already have. And uh, there you go. So I think it'll look nice in the middle of the table. I did get a little bit of wax on the side, but that's no big deal. And it's nice and pretty. Elegant looking. I didn't want to, to do a colored one. I didn't really have a bunch to do a colored one. And this worked out pretty good. It's nice and hard. So it should be fine. And there you go. You got my candle. And it's a nice little centerpiece. So anyways. Bring you up here so you can see me. But, ooh, bad shot. Bad shot bring you across. Anyways, so that concludes my project for now. Um, I'll have something coming up soon again. Um, I'll come up with something. I don't know what yet. <laughs> what we'll do. We're always into something. So, <laughs> Anyways, so that's it for now. Y'all all have a great day and the rest of the week if I don't get anything else up this week. Um, yeah. So stay tuned. There's plenty more to come. Bye, y'all.